Dr. Brabbana. Welcome to the conference. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. This is from India, Dr. Bhavana Ambudka. Yeah. And apologies for a delay because something went with that settings. Okay. So to start with, let me share my screen. Yes. So here, right away, let us start with the very first thing before I start with, I'm really thankful to the organizers, typically uh, Dr. Lewis for the Southern Brazilian Journal International Virtual Conference. The first time getting associated with Brazilian, uh, I would say, association somewhere. And it's really wonderful for me to have to be on the platform of this uh, Journal of Chemistry because we from engineering background truly does have some different perception. But uh, the recent work which is going on, let me share a bit of it because that will quite resonate uh, to the chemistry. Okay, so uh, today I'm going to just brief or give an idea of the work which we are working and that is nothing but non-invasive dialysis. So to start with, uh, as everyone knows, dialysis, it's typically a process that removes waste products and excess fluid from the blood when the kidneys stop working properly. Because when the function of the kidney is not happening, there has to be someone to take care of it and that is wherein this dialysis uh, pours into and it is again typically called as renal replacement therapy somewhere. Uh, the purpose of this is harmful toxins in the body need to be removed timely. Otherwise, they will really uh, create some hazard or some impact on the human body relating to some undesired things with the human body. Basically, this till date is done with two types. One is hemodialysis and the other is peritoneal dialysis. Going into the deep of what is hemodialysis, in a brief, in a nutshell, it could be said that in these hemodialysis, the entire blood is circulated outside the body. So here, what we have to imagine, go a step further, the body which flows into our, uh, the blood which flows into our body is circulated outside the body and there's a machine which circulates and it purifies it, it's called as dialyzer. So, this dialyzer is present outside the body. Hence, the complete blood is moved out of the body, flown through this dialyzer and the purified one, removing all the toxins, is put again or inserted into our body. The other part is nothing but the peritoneal dialysis. This is again a different type of dialysis. But typically, it involves surgery to implant a catheter into the abdomen which helps filter the blood through the peritoneum, a membrane in the abdomen. So in this case, there is no choice that we visit, we go somewhere and then we remove the complete blood from the body, purify it through the dialyzer and then put it. This peritoneal requires many of the types or many of the times a continuous thing. So in this case, it is a catheter which is already uh, put inside the body, made as a part of it. That is how it moves into. Now, what are the things which we have seen in a nutshell goes with both these types. In case of hemodialysis, might be weekly. This is generally happens weekly, but it is periodically we need to travel to the hospital or the dialysis center because the dialyzer is not at home. The dialyzer is at some hospital. And this complete process is to be done under the supervision of a medico. That is the basic thing. Treatment schedule to be set as per the availability. A patient or the person who is in pain may not be able to define when I'll be coming the next. It has to be done at the supervision of the medicos and as per the time schedule over there. And needles are required to access the fistula. That is the basic part of it because the complete blood has to be first removed from the body and then purified and then again going back to the body. In case of peritoneal, dialysis to be scheduled in routine. That is what is must. Dialysis to be scheduled in routine means it cannot be weekly, it cannot be specifically, but rather it has to be 
a daily routine requires a permanent catheter outside the body but although it is to be put inside the body and there it comes across with a risk of invention uh, sorry infection and it is called as peritonitis now again one of the uh, i would say the side effect or the thing which comes along with this peritoneal is one may gain weight or have a larger waistline so this is typically what is happening in the current situation for the dialysis 